Hi, I'm Bram from Mono Science Lab. In today's episode of How To, I'm going to show you how to fire snapshots on your Elden Heat SQ console via MIDI commands. A lot of bands nowadays use um, playback rigs or Ableton setups to run backing tracks or click tracks. Um, you can also use these setups to fire the snapshots on your console. Um, it's very easy. How does it work? I'm just going to send a MIDI command to the console um, on a certain MIDI channel. So first thing um, we have to do is add some scenes to the console. I already did that. So as you can see right here, I prepared three scenes, song one, song two, and song three. And I added some fader movements to them. Um, the next thing we'll have to do is make sure our Ableton setup, which is the laptop right here running Ableton, is connected to the console. Um, we're going to do this by using just one USB cable, um, which takes care of the, of the MIDI connection. So go to your utility screen, to the general tab, and check on which MIDI channel your console is. In our case, that's channel 1. That's perfect, we don't need to change that. Um, let's go into Ableton. So first thing, um, go to your Preferences tab, to the MIDI tab. And right now I'm going to connect the USB cable and we're going to see the SQ pop up right here. There we go. We're going to set the output SQ to track on. So you can see right here. Um, this enables Ableton to send MIDI comments to the console. That's it. So close the menu. I have a MIDI track right here. Going to set the MIDI output to the SQ and set it to the right MIDI channel, which is channel one in our case. Okay, next thing, make a MIDI click, uh, clip by just double clicking on the MIDI track, and I'm gonna change the name to song one. Okay, so I earlier mentioned we're gonna use bank changes and program changes. There is a program change menu down here. So which comments do we have to send? Um, Elnanit made it pretty easy for us. They pre-programmed um, a lot of MIDI features on the console. Um, and there's a, a list online which tells you um, what comments we need to use. We'll leave a link in the comments below, in the description or in the description below. So scene one by default will be MIDI channel one, bank change one and program change one. So we know this. We go to the program change menu, set it to bank one, program one, and that's it. Now, for song 2, we make a new MIDI click, clip, we call it song 2, and this will be bank 1, but program change 2, song 3, just gonna give it a name, will be also bank 1, but program change 3, very easy. So right now, if I fire the MIDI clips in Ableton, we're gonna see the faders move on the console and which means the scenes are changing. So, song one, bam, there we go, the faders move and as you can see on the screen we're currently in song one. Gonna fire song two, the faders moved again and as you can see we're in song two and the same thing for song three. And that's basically all there is to it. It's a very easy thing to do. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. See you soon.